The man shot dead by police in Waimalu Tuesday tested positive for crystal methamphetamine. That's according to a preliminary toxicology test from the medical examiner's office. An autopsy showed that 46-year-old Herbidin Gabriel died of a single gunshot wound to the chest. He is the third man killed by police this year. And as KITV4's Jody Leong tells us, two out of the three men had crystal meth in their system. 28-year-old Mark Leong Ani had crystal methamphetamine in his system when police fatally shot him on Inacoa Avenue two weeks ago. Police say he was involved in a brazen crime spree that involved car thefts and a carjacking and ended when police say Leong Ani fired several shots at officers from a sawed-off shotgun. On Tuesday, a police officer shot and killed 46-year-old Herbden Gabriel after they say he robbed a woman who had just given him a massage in Waimalu. Witnesses say Gabriel was waving his gun in the air, screaming and swearing before he took aim at the officer. He, too, had crystal meth in his system. And remember 36-year-old Reno Valesis? He was the man who was wildly swinging a machete at people in Waianae last June. Police shot and killed him after he refused to put the machete down. He also had ice in his system. There's a very high correlation between crystal meth addiction and criminal activity because they're stealing from people, they're, they're jacking cars, they're hurting people to get this drug, robberies. But Adam said perhaps the most dangerous period for the ice addict is when they are coming down from their high. That's when they are desperate for their next fix. There's this period of time where they become very agitated and they tend to be more violent. They are very driven at that time and very desperate to try and find more crystal meth. And Adam says the craving for meth is like no other. I think it's a desperation unlike other drugs because the craving and the need for the drug is so strong. And that is contributing to the alarming increase in violence on our streets. They feel like a super person. Um, it often takes, you know, more than one police officer to kind of restrain them and to hold them down. They're fearless. They feel invincible. Jody Leon, KITV4 News. A total of four men have been killed by police since last June. Three of them tested positive for crystal methamphetamine.